In this video, I'll show you how the booking module works. This module allows to handle online reservations from your customers. First, the module should be installed and enabled following a standard module installation procedure for Xcard 5. The process of adding a bookable catalog item is almost the same as for regular products. The module uses attributes and variance feature to help you manage your bookable items more effectively. We'll review two examples – adding a bookable item as a separate product and adding bookable items as attributes of a product. For the first example, let's take a car rent. I've already created a class in Classes and Attributes section auto and added attributes such as number of seats, air conditioner, child seat, additional driver, GPS navigation. For step-by-step -step instructions on managing attributes, see another video. To add a product, we go to Catalog – Products. Click Add Product. For product name, I enter a car model. Assign a category. Add an image or several images. In field price, you should specify a price for one day rent. Specify number of cars you have available. This field represents the maximum number of reservations that can be done for a bookable product at a time. Let it be 3. In field shippable, select No. All other fields should be filled in according to your purposes. Check another video for more information on adding a new product. Click Add Product. The product has been added. Go to section Booking and select Enabled to make the product bookable. Click Update. Go to section Attributes. Click Global. Assign a class. Select Attributes and set Price Modifiers to have the total price changed depending on the features added by your customers. Click Save Changes. Now let's check our product in the storefront. If a product has been added as a bookable item, they appear as a calendar select box. A customer should specify the time period for which he is going to rent the product. When a customer selects check-in and check-out dates, he sees the total number of nights he specified. There is no way to select the same date for both fields. If a rent is for one day, the second date should reflect the following day. The calendar feature actually counts nights, not days. Click Check. There appears a table where we see the item name, cost per night and a select box for a quantity of reservations. The table headings are defined by default module settings. In order to change them according to the products you sell, you should edit text labels in your store admin area in section Store Setup – Translations. The process of editing text labels is described in details in other videos. So you can replace Room Type with Moodle, for example, as in the case of a car rent, Room Type heading is not applicable. The attributes we specified for the product will be displayed in the drop-down and in section Specification. A customer should choose additional options if necessary and specify a number of items for reservation. I need one car only, so I select one. Click Reserve. There are three cars available for one period. Once the customer clicks Reserve, we see that the stock is updated for him and now there are only two items left for the specified period. Other customers will still see three cars available. When a customer makes a purchase, the stock is updated for all customers. In this case, they will see only two cars available for the same period. With no cars available, a customer will see a corresponding notice. When a customer is ready to pay for the reservation, he should check out in a regular manner. Now let's review another case when bookable items are represented by product attributes. First, a product class should be created in section Classes and Attributes. Again, we go to Catalog, Classes and Attributes. I've already added a class Room. Here, most important attributes are Type, and the number of guests. This attribute will reflect the maximum number of guests that can live in the room. 
we'll use these two attributes in the module settings. And for the sake of example, I've also added some other attributes that can be used for this product class. Now we should set the module. Go to Modules, Booking, click Settings. We need to choose an attribute responsible for the room type in the first select box and the attribute responsible for the number of guests in the second select box. Click Submit. These attributes will be displayed accordingly in the table showing available items for rent for the specified period. If you don't set the module, the table on the product details page will look like in the previous example. Now let's add a product. Go to Catalog, Products, Add Product. In this case, a product will be represented not by a room type for reservation, but by a hotel. So for the product name, I type in the name of the hotel. Select a category. Add the hotel and room images. You shouldn't make any changes other to quantity in stock or price here. It will be done later for every room type separately. Select No for shippable. Fill in other fields according to your purposes. Click Add product. Booking Enabled. Go to Attribute section, click Global, Change. Assign a class to the product and select Attributes. Room type and the number of guests should be added as multi-value attributes. Other attributes are to be set according to your needs. Save changes. As soon as attributes are assigned, go to tab Variance. For variance generation, I use room type and the number of guests. In case rooms in your hotel differ in some additional features, such as air conditioning, for example, this attribute should be set as a multi-value and used for variance generation as well. I create all possible variants. In the open table, I can specify price of each variant quantity of rooms I have available of each variant, and school. Images uploaded for bookable items won't be displayed in the storefront due to the booking module nature, so there is no sense to upload them here. First, I delete not existing variants. Specify the necessary info. Click Save Changes. Let's check the product in the storefront. A customer specifies check-in and check-out dates and gets a list of all room types available for rent. In the drop-down, a client can select additional options. Here, a customer doesn't specify a number of guests. This value is an attribute and is predefined by the admin. A customer should only specify the number of rooms he wants to rent. All attributes specified for the product in general are available in Section Specification. The module uses responsive design techniques to display available booking variants on tablets and other mobile devices without scroll bars. This makes the booking process more convenient for your customers. Thanks for watching!